see if you could expand a little bit on Muckruck. Is it muckruckers.com? Is it by Emma Lyon? Is that her deal? Sure, sure. Uh, so, the, uh, it's sort of a journalism startup called Muckruck News. And uh, this fellow that I know, Michael Morris, is one of the founders of the organization. They've been doing it for about three years. Um, moonlighting, basically. And their idea is to to kind of automate the open records request process. And they've got all of the rules for all 50 states at this point. So you can go to their site, you can say I'm going to file a records request with this particular agency in this state, and they will have a, a form letter basically to start you off with, and that you can fill out the details, and they'll automate the process of filing the request, being responsive to the deadlines. They send out automated inquiries basically every 10 days or so to say, like, just making sure you're still processing it. So it's a way to automate the process as well as make it more transparent and hold people more accountable. And then make these records, which are public records, actually public by putting them on the internet. So, so then okay. if they're public on the internet, then someone else who comes along later doesn't have to request the same stuff. I've been seeing her uh, saying, coming soon, Muck Rucker, and I've been wondering more about that. And I mean, yeah. pretty so much news, they work with National EFF to enable people to ask whether their local police departments were looking into drones. And that's the way we found out that Boston PD actually was actually looking for what kind of drones could be. That's so, awesome. Yeah. That's, that's really that's good stuff. for people to know. Yeah. But I appreciate you. Uh, Foster. Gregory yeah. Foster. Gregory Foster. Yeah, in Boston. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, man. What is what is do y'all do y'all have any involvement with the hemp like hemp products, hemp seed oils and stuff like that? Not really. Um, I mean, occasionally people will donate some hemp jewelry to us. We obviously try to raise awareness to hemp, but we don't have any specific involvement with any hemp products. Or yeah. Legislation. Thank you. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to see what else we can do about because uh, we had come across Rick uh, Rick Simpson and he's a uh, real hardcore advocate right now for trying to you know, legalize hemp seed oil for right. he's found that it's, it's been deterring a lot of people. You mean for medicinal purposes, medicinal not, purposes. Uh, not just hemp as an industrial hemp. Right, right. Right. So I'm well, just trying to see if there's anything we could add to you know, that fight. See if anybody well, I mean, we're trying to open up the conversation with, um, with our doctors so that they can recommend and have a conversation with patients about medical marijuana. That's what HB 594 does. So that's a first step. Um, you know, if, if, if at least then if a patient can talk to his doctor about it and have that recommendation, if they do obtain some Rick Simpson oil or cannabis in whatever form, at least then if they were arrested for it, they would be able to present that to the jury. Their doctor would be able to say they have medicinal purposes. And that's really the stage that we're at right now in Texas. Um, and I know it sounds like a real baby step, and it is, but it's, it's a step. And it is actually the way that Washington State started with their medical program. So okay. um, it, it does open the door and it allows um, a, a police officer, once the law has been in place for a while and been effective, it would allow them to see that that patient has a recommendation and then go ahead and just decide not to arrest them because they know that that's a valid defense that has been recognized. So what would you direct people that want to get more informed about this issue try and help you guys? Uh, just look up their representative and their senator, but mainly right now it's your representative because this is in the House. It's House Bill 594. You go to the Texas Legislators web website. It has really, really good user-friendly website. You can look up who your representative is, how to contact them, read their bio to see like what kind of issues that they are involved in that maybe you could find an interest uh, for them in this bill and ask them to support HB 594. Ask that if they have concerns, then provide information to help kind of dispel those concerns, educate them and follow up with them. Well, thanks for your time. Thank you. Thanks for everything you've done.